Okay. Good. Start reading. May 16th, 2022, GBOS special meeting regarding the GBOS roles and co chairs. The Girdwood Board of Supervisors, its committees and subcommittees are subject to the Alaska Open Meetings Act as found in Alaska Statute 44.62.310 and Anchorage Municipal Code 1.25 Public Meetings. The Girdwood Board of Supervisors operates under the Girdwood Public Meeting Standards of Conduct. Falls order at 6.01 p.m. This is Brianna Sullivan, co-chair of and cemetery supervisor, Mike. Uh, Mike Edgington, co-chair, land use supervisor. Guy. Guy Lee, fire department supervisor. Amanda. Amanda Sassy, roads and utilities supervisor. And Jennifer. Jennifer Wingard, public safety supervisor. Great, thank you. Looks like we are all here tonight. Are there any disclosures this evening for the agenda? Okay, I don't hear any. And we'll go to agenda revisions and approval. May 16th, 2022 special meeting agenda regarding GBS rules, roles and co-chairs meeting. Move to approve the agenda. Have a second. I'll second. Thank you, Guy. Announcements. The public is encouraged to ask questions and provide comment. Please raise your hand and wait to be acknowledged. To help discussion stay productive, please direct your comments to the board rather than other members of the public and keep your comments focused on the business under discussion. Please be respectful of everyone's opinions. Number one on the agenda, discuss and assign GBOS roles, public safety, roads and utilities, fire department, land use, parks and recreation, slash cemetery. Okay, I'm not sure how this, this goes. <laughs> so, Three, four. two years ago, a year ago, I'm not sure how we did it. Kyle, do you know how? Well, typically uh, the board assigns uh, at least a chair, but for as long as I've been here, it's been co-chairs, so they can bounce back and, and uh, uh, split the responsibility especially for when those are gone um so we've had co-chairs and then usually you guys have a discussion about um uh about supervisor roles and then usually the kind of thing the way that maybe has worked in the past is uh seniority maybe got their first picked um but usually people discuss where they have strong interest and it usually just shakes out where people want to be so so it's just a chance to do it and uh doesn't there's no uh rules about you can't stay in the same role you can continue to be in your same role but if you'd like to switch it's a chance for you guys to discuss it uh but we're hoping tonight you guys will uh decide and then we can make you, you make your announcements at the next meeting to the public okay thank you Kyle. can i make a suggestion yes Shy. go ahead how about we each talk about our current role and um how we feel about it and we have a desire to take on a different role. Just take turns to roll them to us and then have a discussion afterwards. Sounds good. Mike, would you like to start? Okay, I'm uh, currently doing land use. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's taken me a while to get the hang of it. Um, there's a lot going on. Obviously, there's a lot going on at the moment. Um, because we have the, uh, the area plan being worked on now, quite a few things happening in terms of uh, development and uh, some other bits and pieces which are coming along. Uh, I'd like to continue with this, but I am not going to continue beyond this year. This will be my last year of land use. But if anyone else has a burning desire to take it on, we can definitely discuss that. Okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, for my- oh, Jennifer, oh, Jennifer, go ahead. Hey, I just had a quick question. Um, Mike, I'm not totally clear on how long you've been on land use. I think this is this would be my fourth, I think. Okay, thank you. Because I'm coming up to I'd I'd run for re-election next year if I'm going to, because I'd hit my six years. So. Thank you. 
And for co-chair, how long have you been co-chair, Mike? Um, two years. So this is my first year being finishing being a co-chair. And then I've been Parks and Recreation the whole time I've been on GPS, which is not very long. So I would feel like starting a new seat would be an adjustment. Um, but I'm not totally opposed if someone else really would like to be Parks and Recreation Cemetery, but okay. I'm completely con content with the role that I have right now. Uh, Guy, since you're here. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I came in on the November election, I think, and was assigned to fire department, and then I've been elected this year to the board and um, the recent election and still doing fire department and have enjoyed it. I um, I think these positions take a little time to grow into and learn, and so I appreciate it. Uh, to do, I'd like to do it another year. I think I'd be more effective hopefully next year. Um, not such a big learning curve anymore. Thank you. Uh, Amanda, would you like to go next? Sure. Um, I have been roads and utilities and kind of feel like the same. Um, I don't really feel like I was terribly effective this first year, but feel like I'm getting a handle on it and hope to um, be more effective next year if I get this role again. Um, if someone is interested in it, I wouldn't mind being the public safety um, supervisor as well. Hey, thank you. Jennifer. Um, so public safety is, as I recall that meeting, uh, I was low man on the totem pole, so I think I've just ended up, and um, I guess in a way I ended up lucky because public safety um, is fairly easy, actually. The learning curve was not particularly steep. It might be a little different with contract negotiations, but even those are seeming um, like they're maybe not going to be difficult. Um, and uh, yeah, I would be, I'm actually more interested in learning what I can about other, so I'd be interested in almost anything else um, except trails because I don't have it in me to do trails. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. You probably wouldn't want to switch with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I, I think we all know is public safety three years ago was a lot of work, you know, obviously going through that. Land use seems to be a hot topic now. Um, so no matter, yeah, I think as we settle into these roles, um, some of them are going to be quote unquote easier and some of them are going to be uh, more difficult in, in the public eyes. So it's hard to, it's hard to call it, but um, they wax and wane from what I can tell over the years. Thank you, Guy. I think we would agree. Uh, and it sounds like everyone is okay staying where they are for now. And then some seats will come up for re-election in the next election. So um, within 12 months. So this would probably be discussed. It'll seem like quickly. Jennifer, your hands up. Go ahead. Actually, I heard something different. Um, I wonder if uh, Amanda would be open to training. Amanda, would you like to respond? Um, yeah, that's fine. Great. I did hear that too, Jennifer. It was just open and back and forth. Uh, didn't quite. Oh, happen. okay. So, okay. If you two are willing to use, switch places um, and open to doing that, that sounds good. Okay. All right. And then, oh, that's number two on the agenda. Okay. Actually, do we, um, we should probably make a motion and do this formally then. So I'm going to move that from this, after this meeting, um, public safety is held by Amanda Sassi. 
roads and utilities, Jennifer Wingard, Fire Department Guy Wade, Land Use Mike Edgington, and Parks and Rec. Thank you, Mike. We have a motion. Do we have a second for the motion? I'll second that. Thank you, Guy. Any further discussion? I have a question. Yes. Um, I just uh, want to make sure that it's appropriate. Um, Chief Ashe was my supervisor in 2019, um, and we have a prior professional relationship. Um, and I just wanted to make sure to disclose that. Thank you, Amanda. I don't rule that that would be a, a conflict for this new role of supervising in Girdwood. Probably give you a better understanding of your job as well. Great, thank you. Okay, any other discussion or questions? <clears throat> okay, Kyle, could you do a roll call for the motion, please? Sure, uh, Brianna Sullivan? Yes. Mike Edgington? Yes. Guy Wade? Yes. Jennifer Wingard? Yes. Amanda Sassy? Yes. Uh, motion passes 5-0. Great, thank you. Now, number two, discussing assigned GBOS co-chairs. I was getting ahead of myself before with that. Uh, we could go around like Guy suggested earlier or just uh, discuss how long uh, the, it was just last spring that we assigned the co-chairs. So Mike, do you have any thoughts on this? Um, I'm happy to continue to serve, and I would, uh, if we're going to nominate, I definitely have enjoyed serving with you, Brianna. So, uh, more than you. Thank you, Mike. I've enjoyed learning how to try to be a co-chair in the last 11 months. So, I would like to just continue that. But I'm open to um, any other ideas if someone else has a burning desire to be co-chair. Any other comments? Jennifer? I, uh, I do not have a burning desire to be co-chair, but, <laughs> um, I, do, <laughs> but I, I, I do think an argument could be made that um, we should consider it. Um, among other things, uh, I've noticed over this last year that, uh, that I, we kind of, I see some of the same faces over and over again at the same meetings, and I've felt in particular that uh, two or three of us are kind of dominant on local committees and I get it I get it it goes to it goes to whoever puts their hands up right or whoever shows up or whoever logs in but I, I wonder if we could just consider um, expanding co-chair if if either um, if either guy or Amanda would consider it in particular okay thank you Jennifer Well, <laughs> so I, I didn't catch that. Are you are you asking myself or Amanda if we would be interested? Precisely. Good catch. Personally, I, I I'm comfortable in my role right now. I would be, um, and I would do it if, if called upon or if um, the co-chairs are absent. But I just. Um, I'd feel better just being newly elected uh, another year under my belt. I could probably serve the community better. Thank you, Guy. Amanda, uh, do you have any comment? Um, I don't feel strongly about uh, being a co-chair right now. I think in the future I'd be interested. Um, thank you for recommending myself. Um, and yeah, same as Guy, if uh, there's a need um, for someone to step up if both co-chairs are absent. I'm definitely willing to take that responsibility. Great. Thank you all for saying that too. It's nice to, to know because there was a few meetings recently where we weren't sure both co-chairs would be here or here hybridly. That's a word. Um, okay. Well, I think that we have our, our nominations. And we could have a motion. <clears throat> there is one to move on to the next agenda item. Right. I'd like to make a motion to um, 
have Brianna Sullivan and Mike Edgington as the co-chair for one more year. Thank I'll second. You, Thank you, Amanda. Any further discussion? Okay, Kyle, could you also do a re uh, roll call for this? Sure. Uh, Brianna Sullivan. Yes. Mike Edgington. Yes. Uh, Guy Wade. Yes. Uh, Jennifer Wingard. Yes. Amanda Sassy. Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Thank you, Bob. Okay, we'll move to executive session now. Number three, Garden Valley Service Area Manager Review. Uh, process for moving to executive session. Anything? Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's some formality we have to go through. So uh, I think we have to express, we have to talk, say what the item is. Um, explain why we want it on executive session, and then we have to vote and move to executive session. That's okay. my understanding. Okay. All right. Yes, Guy. Could you also explain exactly what executive session means for public input and everything else in that process? So just so I'm familiar with it. Sure, I can try. Um, the need for executive session doesn't happen very often, but it is necessary when we need to discuss. Uh, in this case, a performance review for River Valley Service Area Manager, which is Kyle Kelly, and he has requested that we, we give him a review, and he is years overdue for a review. And uh, in this process, we, we do not include the public for the discussion, and then we um, come back shortly after to return to the special meeting. Mike, do you have a way to say that? Uh, yeah, there are there are certain items that you can move to executive session for um, if you're discussing litigation or litigation strategies and get advice from lawyers. Um, and there's also um, personal matters or matters involving quote the reputation of individuals. Um, and uh, I think we feel we can have a we can have a more complete discussion if we move to executive session for this personal issue. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Perhaps. Quite sure what that meant, you know, meant exactly. What it does mean is the um, we cannot discuss once we move to executive session. We cannot discuss with anyone who isn't in the executive session what happened during that session, um, and the recordings are um, kept separately and not released to the public. And I think we have to vote. So I will um, I will move that uh, in order to discuss uh, personal issues, we should move to executive session. Thank you, Mike. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Thanks, Amanda. Anyone opposed to moving to executive session? Okay. We will start at 6 19 p.m. You should probably do just a roll call. Oh, roll call. Thank sure. you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Brianna Sullivan? Yes. Uh, Mike Agenton? Yes. Guy Wade? Yes. Uh, Amanda Sassy? Yes. Jennifer Wingard? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stop this recording now. I'm going to stop this. Okay, so you're back recording. Thank you. Returning to special meeting. Next on the agenda is public comment. Persons offering public comment must state their full name and address. Public comment is limited to three minutes per person and must be on subjects not listed on the agenda. Anyone have public comment this evening? Okay. Martin is just a check. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. It's not here. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. With a second. A second. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.